Welcome back to Empire Motor Club, everyone. Today I'm picking up my new car. Yes, you guys guessed it. Goodbye Porsche Cayenne Turbo, and hello Maserati. We are at Modena Maserati in Taiwan. I wanna show you guys my new car. Come on in, everyone. Let's go, let's get this going. You guys are witnessing my first delivery of a Maserati. Oh, Howard. Hey, ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. What's up, Howard? Okay, so Howard is someone that actually is a big EMC follower. I want to show everyone my new car. So can we go get the car first? And then we'll make this process done. Okay, come on guys. Oh, wait, before we go, I want to let you see, because you have this history board. Hey, just come over here. I want to show you guys really quickly. Well, first, okay, these are 75th anniversary, the new Gran Turismos, and these are, these are epic, okay? This is the Trofeo. Maserati is over 100 something years old. If you guys didn't know, the GT started with Maserati. Every other car brand calls the GT the GT because of the original GT, which is the A6 1500 GT. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the heritage of the GT and there is a new GT. But we're not getting the new GT, so let's show you guys what we got. And no, it's not the MC20. I, I wish it was the MC20, but no, it's, it's a replacement for the Cayenne. I wish it was the MC20. Okay, Howard, let's go. I love the Trident logo. I'm like Taiwan's Poseidon. I'm the real Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> and here she is, my new car. The smart viewers already have guessed it. I will get on to explain everything, my thought process, why I chose to go from Porsche to Maserati. So I wanna show you. Uh, it sucks that Ryan's not here, so I will get my sales. Howard, bang wo ichi xian qi lai. Maserati, yeah! This is the Gracale Trofeo. Let's go with Howard. Uh, we'll go over all the details and then I'll show you guys everything with the car. Oh, okay. Let me try to get this right. In Italiano, it should be prima sire. Howard, I think this has a special paint, right? Okay, it's expensive. <laughs> Special trident here, the Giallo Corse color, Prima Sire. Under sunlight, you can see kind of like a bluish purple sparkle. Okay, thank you very much for coming to our Maserati. We have a special pedal for you and a special pedal for you. We have a special pedal for you. We have a special pedal for you to join our Maserati team. Oh, cool. 然后我们还有每一年，我们都会举办这种原厂的这个赛道训练的课程啊，可能到意大利啊，或者是台湾，或者是上海，我们都举办这种课程，可以让车主来体验。You guys heard that， 所以我们等待你们的邀请去意大利。但是力宝你们肯定会有。力宝会，力宝。我们当然上就是六月份就有在力宝。Yeah， OK， 所以我六月份 ，Hey， June。We'll be at Libau, but obviously the point is we go to we go to Italy. We go to Italy. <laughs> hey, 大家想看我们去意大利的话，快留言叫 Maserati 带我们去意大利。This this does make you feel special, honestly. Like having a thank you letter and everything that you need is in here. 那我们原我们就是有特别准备了一个这个呃 Maserati 轿车里轿车盒，搭上它就是有附送两个皮套。然后还有一个这个名片夹，然后我们钥匙的话一共有三副，对，哦，就是主钥匙、副钥匙，还有这个穿戴式的这个钥匙，对，就是我们刚刚看到的这个。对对对，现在市面上应该是还没有啦，所以我们搭上这种穿戴式的钥匙是目前的马自达，是只有马自达里才有。对，因为我以前我以前也没有看过啊。对，就是这种比较少这种穿戴式的钥匙。Right, this is where it's at. This is dope. 对啊，所以我去运动的话，我其实就带一个这个。对啊 ，Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Justin. Thanks for ruining my moment. <laughs> all right, guys, we're gonna go back, see the car. I wanna do some explaining, and I wanna show you guys all the options. And after that, we'll drive off. What's up, everyone? Now we're going to an EMC advertisement. Today, we're going to have a buy one, get one free t-shirt. 
，大家一定要把握好机会，买一长袖就会送短袖。大家欢迎去我们的网站 empire body club dot com， 然后还有 empire aqua 的消息 ，empire aqua 会在六月二十二号办一个净滩活动，在中角湾，大家欢迎去报名。再来 EMC， 我们暂定六月二十八号，我们在乌石港会有一场车聚，会有烤肉，然后还有冲浪，希望大家继续关注我们 EMC， 我们会放出更多的消息。还有最大的消息就是 Empire Fest 二零二四年，我们今年十一月三十号见。Peace out， back to the vlog。Finally get some alone time with my baby, my new baby. I want to let you guys know why I chose the Gracala Trofeo. Price point after selling the Cayenne Turbo, which is around you know five mil, I just needed to top up a little bit, and and I get a brand new car. Obviously, I loved the Cayenne Turbo RS done by EMC. Dizzy and I, we've had it for three years, and it's time to move on. Sometimes you just need to move on to a new project,、uh, to a newer car. We don't need a huge SUV anymore because why? Well, we have the Lexus LM. We have a Toyota Alphard. We don't need another big SUV. We did also look at G-Class. However, there's just so many. I didn't feel like it was that special anymore. For me, I really wanted to give this a shot because it suited all my needs: the price point, the performance, luxury, and design. It's a special day. I hope you guys appreciate what we do. So hit that like button for us. All right. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the Gracale Trofeo. I want to go over a couple things that I think this car is just epic and beautiful, and why I switched to a Maserati Gracale Trofeo. First of all, these headlights. I'll turn on the headlights for you. I still got to figure out how to work out this. See, it's just beautiful. So these LED headlights—they come standard. On the Trofeo, this car also has a different front bumper. The front bumper also has all-black grills, which comes standard on the Trofeo, and carbon fiber front chin, front lip spoiler. This car is a little bit lower, a little bit more aggressive, and this black paint, very shiny, glittery, beautiful under lighting. I chose black because I just wanted something more gangster, something more mafioso. You know, something more suitable for me and Dizzy. But as you can tell, all the trim is all black. The other ones are not. And I want to show you guys these wheels. These are the Creo 21-inch wheels. I love the Trident design. Silver with kind of like an anthracite finish. Don't worry. We're going to design something very special with EMC wheels coming very very soon. I'm already working on it. And side skirts, all carbon fiber. And、then we have the Poseidon Trident badge, two red lines, makes it extra special. Now we go around the rear, LED tail lights, rear bumper diffuser, carbon fiber, and we have a special tip. These tips are only on the Trofeo. We will let you hear what the car sounds like in a bit, but you know, rear cameras, everything,、uh, fully automatic. Got warning lights and ooh, they gave me a surprise. Oh, dude, Fragment meets Maserati, dude. This hat is sick. Wow, very Italian, beautiful leather. Oh, I love, I love that Gracala capsule. Beyond thankful. Now let's let's take a look at the interior. The contrast between the black and the red. Always sporty. Sonus Faber and Maserati have a collaboration. Um, but this is a 21 speaker option, and the finishing on this. Oh, look at that mesh! This is just top notch. So this carbon fiber finish is very interesting. It has texture to it. I really liked it. It's very different. Why don't Why don't we start the car so you guys can hear what this car sounds like? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. See, it's got a nice rumble to it. Uh, we are in normal drive mode, so let me put it in sport. You hear the difference, right? Let me put it back to normal. Quiet. Sport. Now, I'm just gonna give you guys a few blips. Oh, wait, wait. Let me try one more time. I 
haven't even hooked this car up yet. This is the stock exhaust. That is crazy. <laughs> I can't wait to drive it. Why don't you guys come on the inside? I just want to show you guys something cool in here. Come on over. So this car is four wheel drive. Maserati has a system, kind of like their electronic suspension system called the Skyhook. Uh, let's say I'm in sport mode. Everything turns red, you know, it's cooler. It lowers a little bit and it tightens up the suspension. Now if we're in Corsa, tightens up the suspension even more. And pretty much this car has all the premium options and the packages. I'm not gonna go into detail for each one, but you know, I love the center console right here. Everything is on here, okay, including the gear levers. If you guys did not notice, there's no gear lever here and no gear lever here. Park, you know, if I'm in reverse, in reverse. Neutral, drive. All right, so if we're in reverse, all the cameras light up. Okay, we got the 360, the bird's eye, the rear, uh, and it has a front. Performance right here, as you can tell, you know, you can see your boost, the torque, oil pressure, you can even do torque management, drag race, and, which is really cool, this function, if you press the clock, we can actually have a sports setting, so this is digital as well. To change the sports setting, if you want the design setting, that's the design setting. Also, if you press pedals, it has the brake and the power. Um, kind of revving it. You see the power. Now, if I'm stomping on the brakes, it shows your brake pressure. I'm gonna stomp on it. Oh, that's at full right now. However, I do love the design of all these vents. This steel frame, these beams, I don't know what you call it. It makes the car very, very modern and it kind of just goes throughout the dash. And I obviously really love the steering wheel. It's super, super sporty. It reminds me of the MC20. And dude, the paddles, they're huge in aluminum. Uh, one more thing is, okay, charges. It's charging now. Wireless charging pad, charging phone. And obviously, you know, we have a big ass panorama sunroof. You know, the size of this car is a lot bigger than what people think it is. I can't wait till Katia sits in the car because she loves red and she loves pink and she's gonna really like this car, especially the way the car sounds. Obviously, going from German to Italian is a big step for me. You know, I was looking for something of a replacement for the Cayenne Turbo. This fits the bill and I think that this price category, this segment of cars, this is the top dog. And if you guys go on YouTube and kind of just do a little search, this was the SUV of the year in 2023 in many people's eyes. And I know that when I'm driving myself, you know, this car will be driven a lot. All right, remember, hit that like button, comment. Let me know what you think about this car. And I can't wait to show you guys the rest of this project. So stay with us. On to the next one. Peace the fuck out. Yes, D is over here. Peace out, motherfuckers.